Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ariel Laure Lua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry where we fellowship together online to seek the face of the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Coming live from Lagos State, Nigeria, I know that as you join us today, as we fellowship together, as we pray together, to seek the face of the Almighty God, the Lord will arise and intervene on that matter. According to Luke 21, verse 13, we say, He shall turn to you for a testimony. That matter, that marital matter, that financial matter, that emotional matter, that matter concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, concerning your loved one, He shall turn to you today for a testimony in the name of jesus i pray for you sir i pray for you man one more time that that matter this very day the lord will turn it to you for a testimony in the name of jesus so why not sit down get ready for a defined encounter for a life transforming testimony you are welcome jesus name can we all lift up our hand and appreciate our lord our god I want you to lift up your hand and bless his holy name. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Let's bless his holy name. Let's worship him. He is the King of kings. He is the Lord of lords. The Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Our Lord, our God. I want you to lift up your hand and appreciate him. Lift up your hand and give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Worship his holy name. 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 Let's appreciate God today. The very first Sunday in the fifth month. The very first Sunday in this month of May. Let's appreciate him. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Worship his holy name. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is good. Father, we give you praise. 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 Worship his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Let's lift up our hand and worship him. Let's lift up our hand and appreciate him. Our Lord is good. 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 Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are great. I want you to lift up a hand and appreciate God for this day. Today is another Sunday, the very first Sunday in this month, for the month of January, for the month of February, for the month of March, for the month of April. Four months, God sustain you. Four months, God kept you and your family. Four solid months, God made divine provision for you and your family. I want you to lift up your hand and appreciate Him. Lift up your hand and give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Worship His holy name. Adore Him. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my home. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are giving thanks. I want you to lift up your hand. I say, Father, as I've come before you today, search my life, search my home, any iniquity, anything that they are accused of the brethren, may use against me, against my family. Whatever it is that the enemy may use against your testimony this month, say, Lord, have mercy on me. 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 Ask the Lord God to say, have you to have mercy on you in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, have mercy on me. 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 
in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me. Ask mercy on me. Can you pray that prayer for yourself? Let God show you mercy. 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 Say, Father, for me and my family, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me your mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Pray that prayer for yourself. Let God show you mercy. In the name of Jesus. Mercy, O Lord. 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 Pray that prayer for yourself. Say, Lord, show me mercy. 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 Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Pray for yourself. Let God show you mercy. In the name of Jesus. Say, O Lord, show me mercy. In the name of Jesus. O Lord, show me mercy. In the name of Jesus. O Lord, show me mercy. In the name of Jesus. O Lord, show me mercy. Call for me and my family. Lord, show us mercy. Lord, show us mercy. Lord, show us mercy. Lord, show us mercy. Pray that prayer for yourself. Today is the first Sunday this month. Ask the Lord God to show you mercy. The mercy of God. Let it prevail. The mercy of God. Let it speak for you. The mercy of God. Let it prevail. The mercy of God. Let it speak for you. The mercy of God. Let it prevail. The mercy of God. Let it speak for you. Pray that prayer for yourself. Ask for mercy. This month we need 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 mercy. Mercy, O Lord. Let your mercy prevail. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, O Lord, my God, as I have come before your throne today, arise in your power, visit me today. Visit my home, visit my marriage, visit my business, visit my career. Send forth your word <clears throat> into my life today. Can you begin to pray? Ask the Lord to send you his word in the name of Jesus. The word of comfort, the word of healing. So, Lord, send me your word in the name of Jesus. That word that my life needs for a positive change, Lord, send it today. Send me your word. Send me your word. The Bible says you send for your word. Your word heal them and save them from their destruction. Say, Father, send me word today. Your word that will bring me healing. Send me today. Send me today. Send me today. Send me today. Send me your word in the name of Jesus. Father, send your word to my life today. Send forth your word into 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 my home, into my marriage, into my business, into my career. Can you declare and declare? Let the word of God locate you today. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Father, again, want to say thank you for today. As we go into your word for today, I ask that you breathe upon your word. Let your word come with power. Let it come with might. And let it bring healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome every one of us who are online. Whatever platform you are joining us from, you are on Facebook, you are on YouTube, you are on other platform. I welcome every one of you today in the name of Jesus. Oh, you are listening to this audio. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. I can't hear your amen. I say you are all welcome in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. Today is the first Sunday. Today is day five of this month. 
the fifth day of this month. Praise the Lord. Once again, happy Sunday to each and every one of us. Amen. During the crossover, the monthly Fiji, April stroke May, God gave us some word, some for individual. God gave us some words some for individual, some for a specific people. Amen. And uh, by the help of Holy Spirit, by the help of Holy Spirit, one of them is for the parent to pray for their children on the fifth day of this month. For those of you who are online, you remember the six. We have a uh, number them one. Amen. Two, three, four, five. Then the sixth prophecy, the sixth word of wisdom for this month. The Lord said, Help for our children. God is saying, He wants to hear our children. He wants to help our children. But He wants to use the prayer of the parent to help the children. And the Lord said, Pray for, pray for your children. Pray for help on the fifth day of the month of may it was then i now look at the quickly look at the calendar on my screen and uh, saw that the fifth day fall on sunday and i said when we come on sunday we are going to march it together we are going to pray together praise the lord praise the living jesus so by the grace of god here we are today to pray for our children so we are having two ministrations two in one our sunday service and the prophecy amen the word of wisdom help for our children so if you are a parent in the house get ready did you hear me you are a parent in the house get ready because today you are going to cry unto the living god for your children and as you cry unto god for your children the lord god will hear you in the name of jesus he said he want to send help to our children he want to help them help for our children i want to hear them through your prayer Pray for them, pray for help, and I give us some scripture. Amen. So that is what we are going to do today, apart from the Sunday message. Praise the Lord. While I was waiting, praying for to today, the Lord gave me some word for some people. The Lord gave me word for some people. We start from that place. We have five. I have five word. Here, that means five message for five different people. Five message for five different people. Number one. That's why I titled today's message Prophetic Sunday and Prayer for Our Children. Prophetic Sunday and Prayer for Our Children. Amen. Praise the Lord. Number one. The first word by the Spirit of God, the Lord said, You always see success. You always approach, approach good things. What is the meaning? Not only in dream, not only in vision, on the physical. You see, you always see opportunity coming. You always embrace opportunity. You always embrace good things. But they never, you never achieve them. If it's a business, if it's a, if it's a project, you always see yourself running after that project, investing in that project. But I say, oh, that's, this always last minute disappointment. I'm not saying you don't have opportunity. I'm not saying you don't see success. And I'm not saying only in the revelation or in the dream, or maybe they gave you prophecy. No. On the physical, opportunity always come, success always come, and you always approach them but last there's always last minute disappointment last minute failure last minute disappointment last minute failure you that person hear this you are the first person that god want to handle your case today there's this story in the book of art the bible said a man they always brought a man before the beautiful gate what is that beautiful gate the entrance to the house of god the entrance to the tabernacle, the entrance to the place of prayer, the entrance to the place of joy, the entrance to the place of success, 
the entrance to the place of breakthrough. Because when you come before the presence of God, you are not going to live the same way. When you come before the presence of God, the Bible says in the presence of God is fullness of joy. You come with, with, you come with crisis. You come with issue. You come with pain. You come with lamentation. You are not going to go back with those things. Because, before, because as you approach the throne of God, the Lord has changed them. You come with weakness. The Lord has changed that weakness with his strength. And you go back rejoicing. You go back being fulfilled. And your life turn around. But this man, we always see the beautiful house. We always see the presence of God. But this man did not have access to the presence of God. There's always a barrier. Anytime you get to that gate, you cannot enter. Why? Somebody can ask, why? Why is it that his people cannot carry him and enter into the, um, into the tabernacle, into the church? No. There's a decree. There's a law. There's an issue on ground. That do not permit that man to enter into where he will find joy. Leviticus 21, 17 to 23. Leviticus 21, 17 to 23. This is the decree that limited that man. The man can see beautiful things. But he cannot access it. You always see opportunity. But you don't access them. You always miss them. Leviticus 21, 17 to 23. And the Lord said, Moses, speak unto Aaron, saying, Whosoever be the seed of their generation that has any blemish, let him not approach to other bread of his God. For whosoever man it be that had a blemish, he shall not approach a blind man, a lame man, or he that has a flat nose, or anything superfluous. 19 or any man that is broken footed or broken handed a crook back a dwarf or that has a blemish eyes that means a blind person a scurvy a scabbard or has his stone broken amen fast one no man that has a blemish of the seed of Aaron the priest shall come nigh to the offer of offering of the Lord made by fire he has a blemish this is a part in his life so because of this bush, he cannot come. He shall not come near to offer bread of his Lord. Verse 22. He shall eat the bread of his father, his God. Of us, only things. Only shall he not go into the veil. That means he have opportunity to eat. He have opportunity to eat. But there is no opportunity for him to come before God. There will be food for him. But he must not dare come near God. What is that blemish in your life? What is that physical, spiritual birth? What is that satanic decree? What is that satanic standing order? What is that satanic barrier? What is that satanic prophecy? Satanic prediction? Satanic spoken word? What is that satanic altar? What is that satanic covenant? What is that cause? What is that resisting forces? What is that resisting power that is limiting you from approaching the throne of mercy? Today, the Lord is saying, Micah 7, verse 11. Micah 7, verse 11. Because it is your time. So anyone that have issue, anyone that have issue, must not enter into the presence of God. It can only be eating bread. That is why the only thing that man have access to is for people to be giving him offering, giving him money to go and eat. Only for money for food. Do you come to this world to only eat? Micah 7, verse 11. In that day that your walls are to be built, in that day that your prosperity is to be established, in that day shall the decree be far removed. Do you see? There was a decree that is saying anyone with any deformity must not come into the presence of God. He can only be eating. So the man only have access to food, but he do not have access to other joy. But today, the Lord is saying, in that day that your world is to be built, in that day that your testimony is to be established, in that day that you are to conceive, in that day that your document is to be approved, what will happen? That's the standing decree shall be far removed. I therefore stand upon Micah 7, verse 11. You that person that you always see opportunity, 
but there is always last minute failure, last minute disappointment. Today, in the name of Jesus, every satanic decree, every satanic standing order, every satanic barrier, every satanic prophecy, every satanic prediction, every satanic spoken word, every satanic altar, any satanic covenant, any satanic causes that stand to limit you, that stand as a barrier, that stand to resist you. Today, let it be removed in the name of Jesus. Let it be removed. 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 Let it be removed in the name of Jesus. Every anything that is resisting your progress, anything that is saying no to your fulfillment, anything that is saying no to your achievement, anything that is saying no to your success, today let it be removed in the name of Jesus. Let it be removed. 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 They always allow you to see good things, but they don't allow you to approach them. They always allow you to see good things, but they don't allow you to grab them, to hold on to them. You run after it. When it remains a day, when it remains some hours, they will always find a fault. They will always have an issue against you. Why you must not be promoted? Why you must not be given? But hear this, sir. Hear this, man. Today, as the Lord liveth, by the great hand of the Lord, anything resisting your progress, anything resisting your testimony, anything resisting your breakthrough, I declare, I declare one more time. Let them be removed in the name of Jesus. Let them be removed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Anything that is aborting your joy, when they are bringing that man, the man will see the house of God. He will see the house of breakthrough. He will see the house of opportunity. But the moment he gets to that entrance, the gate, the gate will always limit and abort his joy. His joy is when he woke up in the morning, I'm going to the place of prayer. I'm going to the place of breakthrough. I'm going to the place of testimony. But here, Mr. Hyama, the moment the man gets to that gate, the gate always shut against him. The gate always abort his joy. You can stay at the gate, but you cannot enter. You are allowed to stay at the gate, but you are not permitted to enter. Kai, what is that power that is saying you can come to the place of gate? The gate of breakthrough, the gate of testimony, but you are not allowed to enter. What is that forces? What is that power? What is that gate today? That satanic gate. Let it be lifted in the name of Jesus. Any gate aborting your joy. Any gate about your testimony today in the name of Jesus, be lifted, 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 be lifted. Any satanic gate about your joy, any satanic gate about your joy, you see it when you get to that gate, the gate refuses to open. That satanic gate about your joy today in the name of Jesus. Let it be lifted. 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 In the name of Jesus. Psalm 122, verse 1. You always struggle. Opportunity come. Business proposal will show up. But when it is time for you to be approved, something will just turn us upside down. Psalm 122, verse 1. This was the lamentation of David. The lamentation, the cry of David. I was glad. When they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said, let's go to the house of God. When we get to the house of God, we shall receive help. Let's go to the house of God. When we get to the house of God, there's going to be something. God is going to answer us and he will turn around our fast two. Our feet shall stand within that gate. Oh. When David reached the gate, the entrance of Jerusalem, the place of peace, the place of joy, what happened? 
the gate of Jerusalem did not allow him to cross. Our feet standing within is not out, it's not in. It's not out, it's not in. He just he just had the gate. Why? Because the gate locked against him. He seen opportunity, he could not enter into opportunity. He just had the gate. Every spiritual gate that the enemy have used to lock you. Today, I speak to that gate. Every gate limiting your expansion. Every gate resisting your progress. Let it be lifted in the name of Jesus. Let it be lifted. As you go into this month, every gate of sickness limiting what you can do. Every gate of financial embarrassment. That issue that always brings financial embarrassment upon you. Every gate of debt. Let it be lifted up today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. Number two, 2 Kings 5. 2 Kings chapter 5. 2 Kings chapter 5. The second word for us today can be found in the 2 Kings chapter 5. One downward. It's the story of a powerful man, a great man. The Bible said, and now Naaman, a captain of the host of king of Syria, that means a war leader, a military officer, not just a military officer. This military officer has his own troop, a troop under him. He was a great man, a master, an honorable. And because of him, the Lord giving deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor. Because of him, his city, his nation won many battles. They fought many battles and they won many battles. Can you just imagine a kind of a man like that? It's not an ordinary military officer. It's not a junior cadet. A man like that. Look at first one. Second King first one. He said he was a great man. Honorable. And because of him, the Lord grants the Lord grant them faith. So that kind of man will be in position of maybe general of army. But now hear this. The last statement. But he was a leper. With all his qualification, there was a but in his life. With all his uh, great uh, things that he have done, accomplishment, there was a but in his life. Who is that person? Qualification you have. People, you know people. But there is this ugly but in your life. Each time you remember this but, you always weep. Each time people that know you remember this, they weep for you. Because it's a thing of disgrace. It's a thing of reproach. You have spent money on it. You have spent a lot of things on it. And the thing refused to go. As a matter of fact, it's a, it is an earth issue. And this earth issue is a, an earth issue that is giving you, that is causing embarrassment. You don't share it with people. People do not know about it. Because it's a thing of reproach. It's a thing of shame. Ha! But hear this. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, that pot in your life is refused today in the name of Jesus. That pot in the life of your husband is refused today in the name of Jesus. That pot in the life of your wife is refused today in the name of Jesus. That pot in the life of your children is refused today in the name of Jesus. So I therefore declare, I declare, as I was commanded, every pot in your life, every issue in your life that is keep bringing you shame and reproach, the Lord reverse it in the name of Jesus. The Lord reverse it. 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 In the name of Jesus. The third word for us today. The third person. Second Samuel 23, verse 19. Second Samuel 23, verse 19. Second Samuel. 23 verse 19. 2 Samuel 23 
Verse 19. Thank you, Jesus. Let's take it from 18 so that we understand it. And Abishai, the brother of Joab, the son of Sarah, was chief among the three. There are three people. But among these three, this Abishai, the Bible said, he was chief among them. He lifted up his spear against 300 and slew them. A mighty man. Just like the first, uh, the last word. He had a name among the theory, among the people of your colleague, among people in that office, among people in that, they know you. If, oh, thank you, Jesus. If, when they want to take decision, they must consult you. Because no matter the decision they take, when you come, and jokingly you just give them a word. You just tell them, why not do this thing? Why not do this thing? Your own is like, your own is, your own is master key. So, your family member, they don't joke with you. Your relative, they don't joke with you. When you come to giving idea, they know that you have it. God bless you with it. Oh. <sighs> I'm on the theory. You have a name. But look at verse 19. Look at verse 19. Well, was he not most honorable of the three? Among your colleagues, among your family, your in-laws, you, you are more honorable than nobody can stand your wisdom. Nobody can stand your knowledge. He <laughs> was the captain. You are older than them. But look at the last statement. Look at the last statement. How be it he attained not Onto the first theory. With all his qualification, with all his wisdom, with all his knowledge, he attained not to the theory. People know you. People recognize you. Even people at your back, people they gave battle, they recognize the grace of God in your life. But you do not attain. You do not achieve. That's the meaning. With all your wisdom, there's nothing to show for it. With all, all your labor, there's nothing to show for it. He attained not unto the theory. Those who do not have you like your qualification, those who cannot speak good, uh, what do they call it, Queen's English like you, those who could not read, those who could not write code, those who could not... The Bible says, they attain, they achieve, they have houses, they travel here and there, they sponsor people. You that you have everything, you still need to go and meet them to be begging for money. Today, the Lord is saying, I should tell you, every spirit of non-attainment, with all your qualification, every spirit of non-attainment, every spirit of non-achievement, the Lord bind it in the name of Jesus. The Lord bind it. 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 The Lord bind it in the name of Jesus. From non-attainment, non-achievement, the Lord release you in the name of Jesus. The Lord release you in the name of Jesus. The Lord release you in the name of Jesus. You that person, you are that person. Hear this. From today, from today, you will begin to attain in the name of Jesus. Your rightful position, attain it in the name of Jesus. From today, you will begin to achieve in the name of Jesus. Success shall be yours in the name of Jesus. I said, success shall be yours in the name of Jesus. Success shall be yours in the name of Jesus. Sources shall be yours in the name of Jesus. Sources shall be yours in the name of Jesus. Sources shall be yours in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. The fourth word. I said that's the reason why I said today is just prophetic Sunday. And we just pray for our children. Prophetic Sunday. First Kings 18 46. First Kings. 1846. First King 1846. And the Bible said, The hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he gathered his loin and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. Ahab was on, on, on a horse running before. But the Bible said, The hand of the Lord was upon him. And what happened? He ran before him. That means he overtake him. How possible is that? Most of us on Facebook, 
my brother is a Risa. How possible? Somebody going with a, a sport car. You know, a sport car have this uh, special ability to run fast. Somebody that is on a journey with a sport car. Even if it's not a sport car, with a car. And it's going at the speed of 100 or between 100 and 120 kilometers per hour. And somebody is now running with leg. Can he cash up? Even not 100. If a car is going at 20, 30 kilometers per hour, can you meet up? Can you meet up? At 40, at 50, at 60, you cannot meet up. You cannot meet up. You only see you'll be only be seeing the back of that car, and as time goes on, you not even see anything at all. Not to not talk about car and us galloping. But hear this: the Bible said the hand of God was upon Elijah. He ran, overtook the man that has been driving for some minutes ago. Hello, he's saying I should tell you. To that person, hear the word of the Lord for you for this season. Because as you go into this week, this is what you will see. As you go into this week, this is what you begin to see its manifestation. The hand of God for speed. According to First King 1846, speed of achievement, speed of attainment, speed of approval. Let it rest upon you and that project in the name of Jesus. The hand of God for speed, unusual speed. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Psalm 136, verse 12. The hand of God for love, for people to begin to love you. Receive the hand in the name of Jesus. Psalm 104, 28. Psalm 104, 28. Psalm 145, verse 16. The hand of God for satisfaction. For you to be satisfied in all your dreams. Receive the hand in the name of Jesus. Job 12, verse 10. Job 12, verse 10. The hand of God for life. For you to live and not die. For your children to live and not die. For your wife, your husband to live and not die. The hand of God for life. Especially those of you with one ailment or the other. The hand of God for life. Job 12, verse 10. Receive the hand in the name of Jesus. 1 Peter 5, verse 6. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6. The hand of God for lifting and promotion. Every career people. The hand of God for lifting and promotion. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The hand of God that will come upon you and you'll be promoted. That you'll be, that you'll, that you'll be lifting in your career. Receive your hand in the name of Jesus. Psalm 95 verse 5. Psalm 95 verse 5. The hand of God for creative miracle. He said by his hand, he established the heavens and the earth. The heart was not there. The heaven was not there. But by his hand, he created them. He established them. Those of you that are believing God for creative miracle, for creative miracle, for creative miracle, for creative miracle, the hand of God for creative miracle, receive it in the name of Jesus. Psalm 118, verse 16. The hand of God for all round perfection. All round perfection. Psalm 118, verse 16. The hand of God for all around perfection. Perfection in your home, perfection in your marriage, perfection in your business, perfection in your career, perfection concerning your health, perfection concerning your children, perfection concerning your business. The hand of God for all around perfection. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Let it rest upon you today in the name of Jesus. First Chronicles 29, verse 12. First Chronicles 29, verse 12. First Chronicles 29 verse 12 the hand of god for wealth the hand of god for riches the hand of god for honor the hand of god for strength and power first chronicle 29 verse 12 there's this hand of god when he come upon you he bring wealth your way the bible says is it not the lord god that give you power to make wealth the hand of god for wealth the hand of god for honor the hand of god for strength and the hand of God for power. Today, let the hand rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Let it rest on you. 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 Hand of God for weight. Hand of God for power. 
hand of God for strength. In the name of Jesus, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. In the name of Jesus. For those of you who are believing God for landed property, for those of you who are believing God for your own personal landed property, you believe, are believing God for house. You want to own house. Your own, that will be your own house. You don't want to be a tenant again. You don't want to be paying rent. You don't want to be paying charges. You want to have your own landed property. Psalm 95, verse 4. Psalm 95, verse 4. The hand of God for you to acquire desire property. For those of you that you have seen the property you want, for those of you that they have shown you that property, for those of you that you are taking you there, for those of you that have seen it in Revelation, for those of you that you are dreaming it, for those, those, those for those of you because of your stature, because of your uh, your marriage, your husband, your wife, your children, because of the nature of your job, you need to have your own planned property. There's this hand that will come upon you and will make you to acquire the same property. That hand of God for unusual help. Psalm 95, verse 4. The hand of God for every one of you in that category. The hand of God for you to acquire your own personal property. Let it rest on you today in the name of Jesus. Let it rest on you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yet it is not about money. You may not have the desired money in your bank, in your account right now. But when the hand of God come upon you, it will make a way. I've shared it here uh, about two, two years ago during the prayer avalanche. During prayer avalanche, I think July. During prayer avalanche, I don't take ministration. Because when I'm finished, I have some other things to do. And I have to write, I have to type, do this, do that. So a pastor called me and said, Pastor, it was a month before the prayer avalanche. He said, Pastor, next month, we would like to have you to come and minister to us. I just laughed. I said, when? Time. He said, in the evening. 6, 6 p.m. in the evening. And his church is far. I have to travel. It's going to take me like three hours journey. So if I'm to minister, three o'clock, and uh, six o'clock, and I'm not, going to, I'm not going to take microphone, a crusade, they have to do worship, this and this. So by the time we finish, around nine o'clock, when am I going to get back to my house? Johnny, like three hours. And he said, Pastor, and not just for a day, all the Sundays in next month, all Sundays, I laugh. He said, Pastor, why do you laugh? I was about to tell him, Sir, I can't. Maybe another time. And Holy Spirit said, No, you will go. Ha. Normally, I'm supposed to tell him, Let me pray about it. The moment the Holy Spirit said, You will go, I just asked him, I said, I'm coming. He laughed. He said, Are you sure? I said, I'm sure. He told his wife. And according to them, the wife said, my husband. He just answered you that he will come. You know him. He was supposed to tell you that. Let me pray about it. Something is fishing. He is not going to come. And he called me the second day. He said, Pastor, are you sure that you come? Because my wife said, the way you answer, I said, I will come. Don't worry. <laughs> Holy Spirit said, I, you will go. Do you see that? It's, it's not that uh, you may go. He said, you will go. It's an order. So am I to say I will not go? When the master said go, my own is to say yes, sir. I'm going. I went there. First ministration. The moment I finished and God help us, as I was climbing down the altar, I just thank God. And the man of God said, Pastor, powerful. I said, Thank you, sir. And he just said, Do you have a landed property? I said, No. He said, Do you have in your own village? I said, No. Ah, he said, You have. I said, In Jesus' name. He said, No. Not in Jesus' name. I have a landed property in so 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 place in this Lagos state, very close to Lagos state. Yeah. He said, I'm going to give you a plot of land there. So you build house. I said, Thank you. After like two minutes, he looked at me. He said, that, that land, what are you going to do with it? I said, That land. I said, I'm going to give it unto God. That is first seed. I know the principle of first seed. Anything that comes in your life first belongs to God. I said, I will give it to God. So any other one is now my own. I can now enjoy it. He said, you mean it? I said, yes, I mean it. I will give it unto God. The man looked at me and said, wow. Because you said you are going to give it to God. You know what I'm going to do? I said, no. 
He said, I will double it. I will make it two plots. So one for you, one for the ministry that you said belong to God. I now love. He said, the first one belong to God. The second one belong to you. So as the church is using their own, so you too have your own beside it. When I told somebody, say, Pastor, there's no way you can get land in that area. I said, I already have it. And the ministry already have it. The land is there to the glory of God for the ministry. They will redeem me. The one that you said belong to me, I added it. I dash God. <laughs> I, I give the two unto God. Praise it, the Lord. I try to look at the price of land, how much they sell land in that area. My last salary, what they pay me where I work last. If I'm to calculate, I work for like 10 years. If no more than 10 years to get that land, more than 10 years for just one day ministration, one day. It was the hand of God that upon me that day that made that man to release it. Every one of you that you are believing God for your own personal property, landed property, for your family, for the work of your hand, and you don't have the resources, and you don't know how it's going to come. Today, I pray for you according to Psalm 95, verse 4. Psalm 95, verse 4. Psalm 95, verse 4. Psalm 95, verse 4. And Psalm 44, verse 4 and 5. The hand of God for you to acquire it. The hand of God for you to acquire it. The hand of God for you to acquire it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Let it rest upon you. Psalm 10, verse 12. The hand of God for you to be remembered for good. Let that hand rest on you in the name of Jesus. Psalm 18, verse 15. The hand of God for joy and victory. Let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Ezra 8, 31. Ezra 8, 31. The hand of God for protection and deliverance. Let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are business owner, those of you who are who have established business, that you have people that is that are working under you. You have men, you have women that are working under you. According to Ezra 8 18, Ezra 8 18, the good hand of God for divine connection that people will come to assist you in that business. The good hand of God that will rest upon that business for you to have a lawyer staff, a lawyer workers. Help us in life, help us in ministry, help us in career. I pray for you. Let the hand rest upon that business in the name of Jesus. The good hand of God for the five connection. The good hand of God for help us of destiny. For loyal staff in that business. Receive the hand. 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 In the name of Jesus. Say I receive it. Say I receive it. Today, I declare, I declare, you can say louder, amen. That hand of God, that hand of God, that good hand of God, that will turn your life around for good. Let it rest upon you today in the name of Jesus. Then number five, the last word, the last word. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation 3, verse 11. Revelation 3, verse 11. Revelation 3, verse 11. Say, Behold, I come quickly. All that fast which thou hast, that no man take your crown. That no man take your crown. What is the meaning? A crown represents glory. A crown, the crown of the head. A crown represents glory. A crown represents honor. A crown represents distinction. So look at the last thing. That no man take, not take your place, but that no man take your crown indirectly. A crown of a man can be taken away from him. The crown, the glory, the honor of a man can be taken away from him. First Corinthians 3, 14 to 15. A man can lose his crown. He was somewhere, walking somewhere. He went somewhere and he lost the crown there. A man can lose his crown and will be looking for it. Is it not a physical thing that you, you tell them? It's green color, is this, this is the number on it. If you help me to find that particular one. But we are talking about invisible spiritual thing that dictates 
everything that happens around you in life. A spiritual thing that dictates everything that happens to you in life. If a man loses his crown, he has lost his glory. He has lost his honor. He has lost everything about him. In that Revelation 3, verse 11, made us to know that a man, the, the, the crown of a man can be taken from him. First Corinthians 3, 14, 15, a man can lose that crown. First Corinthians 9, 27. First Corinthians 9, 27. A man can be disqualified from sustaining, retaining, holding on to the crown. Do you not hear me? First Corinthians 9, 27. A man can be disqualified. The man is having the crown before. But something may happen. And those things will disqualify him. And they will take the crown from him. They will dethrone him. Matthew 25, 28 to 29. A crown can be taken from a man. The glory can be taken from a man. Lamentation 5 verse 16. The crown can fall off. The crown on the head. When it slumber, it can fall off. Every one of you that you are hearing the sound of God through me today. Every one of you under the voice of God through me today. That you have lost your crown. You have lost your glory. You have lost your honor. You have lost your decision. Your husband has lost his virtue. Your husband has lost his glory. Your wife has lost his seat. Today, I decree, I declare, in the name of Jesus, recover it back in the name of Jesus. That crown that you have lost, take it back in the name of Jesus. Recover it back, 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 recover it back. That your crown of honor, that your crown of glory that you have lost, that the enemy have taken from you, that the enemy have stolen from you, that the enemy have seized from you, that your crown of honor that have fallen off your head. As a result of that, your life keeps falling from one place to another. Today, let that crown be restored in the name of Jesus. Let it be restored in the name of Jesus. Let it be restored in the name of Jesus. Let it be restored in the name of Jesus. Let it be restored in the name of Jesus. Let it be restored in the name of Jesus. Let it be restored in the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare, you can say louder, Amen. That crown that you lost, you lost it in your father's house. You lost it in your in-laws' house. You lost it in your family's house. You lost it where the former place where you work. Today, that crown that you lost as a result of the former church, that satanic pastor, that satanic priest that lay hand on your head, and the moment he lay hand on your head, his arm magnetized that crown from you. Every one of you that you have issue with your former church and you left the place, the moment you left the place, the pastor in charge of that church begin to attack you. And as a result of his attack, you lost your financial crown. Today, I stand as a priest of the Almighty God. I stand as the mouthpiece of God. And I speak to your life. That your crown that you have lost. That crown that your husband lost. That crown that your children lost. Receive it back in the name of Jesus. 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 That crown that you lost. That your crown of honor. That your crown of glory. Receive it back in the name of Jesus. Ecclesiastes. Say, let your head lack no ointment. Let your head lack no ointment. The oil in your head that dry up. And as a result of that, the crown was taken. And attacked from here and there. Today, in the name of Jesus, I declare, I declare, anointing of Holy Spirit, the anointing of God, for you to be restored back to your original position, for your crown to be restored back to you. Receive that anointing in the name of Jesus. Receive that oil. Receive that oil. Receive that oil. Receive that oil. There's this anointing of enthronement. When you receive the oil, no matter what the enemy is saying, no matter situation and circumstance that surround you, because you have been anointed, no one can change it. Today, every one of you in that situation, that oil of enthronement, not dethronement, that oil of enthronement, for you to be crowned back, receive that oil in the name of Jesus. 
as you receive by the oil, I decree, I declare that your crown take it back in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise see the Lord. We are just going to decree and declare upon all our children today. Amen. But uh, be, hear this. By the grace of God, we... Some weeks ago, I shared with us and I gave us... I told us that every one of us to go and begin to study the book of Acts. Acts of Apostle. Am I right? The book of Acts. Acts of Apostle. And by the grace of God, we are to study one chapter per day. One chapter per day. Our coordinator in wisdom group will be posting day by day. May God strengthen you in the name of Jesus. But I tell you the truth. I'm not too happy. Apart from you reminding us that we need to study, we need to read. Please, not all of us love reading. Some of us love reading. Some of us have time to read. Some, they don't, they don't know how to read. So we need to encourage them. How do we encourage them? We encourage them by giving them sobri, a small taste. Amen. So you are just telling us, reminding us the chapter and the, um, the total title. No. Give us a little summary. So when you give us a little summary, it will ginger amen, other people to go and study it. So please, ma, we are, I'm begging. Please, starting from today, start giving us a short, short summary of each chapter. Today, by the grace of God, we are reading chapter 14. We are going to study chapter 14. And in my Bible here, chapter 14 talk about how the unbelievers stir up the multitude. The unbelieving Jews, they stir up the multitude against the children of God, which lead to division. Some people support them, some people do not support them. And in all this, with how they gang up against them in the midst of this confrontation, what happened? Through the hand of Paul, God see perform miracle. A crippled man received a strength. A man that was crippled. There was problem on ground. At that during that period, when the enemy attacking them, buffeting them, let and, let and right, God see perform wonders through the hand of Paul. I learned something here. No matter what the enemy are saying, no matter the attack of the enemy, if I can only focus on God, wonders will see happen. Testimony will see happen. Hear me, hear me, sir, hear me, man. No matter what you are facing, whose report are you going to believe? Enemy are attacking them. They close their eyes against the enemy. They focus on God. Don't preach here. Yeah. Paul went ahead, still preach. And through his hand, the Lord raised a, a lame man. If Paul had ran away, that miracle would not have happened. I don't know what is going on in your life. This is just a message that you need today. If you can only focus on God, close your eyes against what people are saying. Close your ear against negative vibes. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Miracle will happen. In that midst of problem that surrounds you, miracle will happen. Testimony will happen. They gang up against them, but they don't look at them. They focus on God. They went ahead and preached. And wonders happen. In the midst of your enemy, may miracle happen in the name of Jesus. May miracle happen in the name of Jesus. May miracle happen in the name of Jesus. Number two, when they saw that miracle, they bowed down. They saw them as God. And they said, no, we are not God. We are only servants of God. Here, Mr. Hyman, we see it outside today. When God did something in the life of our people, and people begin to worship them, no, no matter what happened, no matter how God used you, Orelua, I'm pulling my hair. No matter, Orelua, hear this. No matter what God is doing to you, no matter what God has done to you, don't allow people to worship you. Don't allow people to bow unto you. Orelua, you are only to connect them to God. 
I'm telling myself. So tell yourself that. No matter what happened, no matter your testimony, don't allow it to enter into your brain. Don't see yourself as God. Don't lord yourself over other people. What you are supposed to do for every testimony in your life is for you to draw the attention of those people unto God. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. And yesterday, if today is chapter 4, yesterday is chapter 13. While I was studying chapter 13 yesterday, I saw a lot of things. Amen. I saw the call of Barnabas and Saul. How God, in fasting and prayer, separated Barnabas and Saul. The Bible said, unto his work. Unto his work. What work do you have for God? You are saying you are not called. What work, what assignment do you have for God? What are you doing for God? You don't have anything to do, but every day you keep looking, you keep going to Facebook. You can evangelize through that your Facebook. Every day, post a scripture there. Jesus loves you. As many of your family that come to your prayer, they will see Jesus love you. You have ministered to them. By the grace of God, on this ministry, we posted prayer article. Amen. When you receive those prayers, if you are watching me now, that means every day you have been receiving prayer. How many times did you evangelize with those prayers? You only keep it to yourself. Don't keep it to yourself. Send it to other people. There's this social media evangelism. As you go from street to street, calling people unto Christ, you can also do the same thing on your, on your, on your phone, through your Facebook, through your uh, Twitter, through your Instagram, through what, what else? Through your YouTube. I called the attention of my friend last week who reposted something. I said, you are a pastor. Yes, that is not good, but you are not to post it. You are to post something that will edify, something that will correct, something that will bring glory to God. Many of us, when we see something that makes us happy, we forward it, we post it. But to post something about Jesus, you cannot do it. You are ashamed of Jesus. If you are not ashamed of Jesus, okay, you don't want to be recognized with Pray Nicholas Network. <laughs> Because I will have asked you, when last did you post any of our message on your Facebook? When last did you post it? Send it on your copy. You don't need to cost you, any, cost you anything. Just click on share. And if you can type, type message. Type, uh, type a scripture out. Type a message out. Brethren in the Lord, this week, the Lord will favor you in Jesus' name. Post it. Do you know that with that, only God knows how many people are going to read it. And it's left for God to not minister through it to people. And you are saying you don't have work that you are doing for God. What about that? You cannot go out. Your money can go out. Your money can go out. Your money can go out. Bring your money. Let me use it for you. <laughs> Let me use your money to promote the kingdom of God. Hear this secret. The money that is not for that project that you have, turn it to a seed, plant it, and see how it will germinate. You have a project, and the money is not even enough to even start at all. Turn it to a seed, bring it, let's use it for God. Amen. How Paul, Barnabas, and Saul was calling to God. Amen. And in Pharisees, in Pharisees, I love Pharisees. The Bible said, a certain sorcerer, his name was. By Jesus, he was a sorcerer, and his name was by Jesus. Can you just imagine? O is, the Bible said he was sorcerer means occultic person. He was an occultic man, and his name is the son of Jesus. How can the son of Jesus not become an occultic person? Ha! Huh. There are millions of them outside there today. There are millions outside there today. You know them. You see them on Facebook. Can I prophesy? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Ah, eh, don't only fast and pray. Add something to it. God created the heavens and the earth and all the herbs. So when you take one herb, one soap, one this, one that, <laughs> the prophet. When you see anybody like that, it's bad. Jesus, son of Jesus, a certain sorcerer. He's a sorcerer. Only using the name Jesus to cover up. Only using the name Jesus to cover up. 
Uh, somebody said, when you take a black soap or white soap, in those days, they, they, they use black soap, but now they tell you, take any good uh, soap and take this, take this, take this. Take the water from coconut, take the honey, take this, take that. And when you miss it, you see it in the night. <laughs> it will work. You try to tell you why it will work. Those are the the, 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 the are angels in charge of things like that. They are, they are custodian of things like that. And who are they? The fallen angels. Those angels have been driven out from heaven. They are demons. They have principality. So they have, they have control over all this thing. They have control over all this thing. But it's for a certain period of time. Their hand is not always good. Their hand is not always good. So I learned from that uh, first 13, chapter 13, when I read it yesterday, that, that a man is calling Jesus doesn't mean that he's a child of God. Somebody's name is by Jesus, son of Jesus. But his work is sorcerer, occultic. From that, I learned to always check myself. Whose pastor I will listen to? Who pastors I will put my head under? So that I will not see somebody whose name is or uh, so 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 Jesus. That his small name is Jesus. That means he's the son of Jesus, but he's an occultic person. He's just using Jesus' name as cover up. I learned it. I saw it in the book of Acts 13. Praise the Lord. But the end, the Bible said, and the also caused him to be blind for a season. And he was blind. So please, uh, please, man. Let's continue to study the book of Acts. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Let me say this. If you are within Lagos and its environment, you are within Lagos State, you have a child who don't have a Bible. You have a child who don't have a Bible. Amen. If you come down to pray in the Goods Network office, I assure you we get a Bible. Should I repeat myself? You are in Lagos State. I cannot promise those outside Lagos. Because if I promise you, that means I need to use money to send it to you. I'm not going to promise you. The money that I used to pro to send it to you, you can use the money to buy over there. But if you are within Lagos, you have a son who needed a Bible. You have a son who needed a Bible or a child, a, a word who needed a Bible. During the week, Monday to Friday, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Oh, it's a pastor, we're not close. Yeah, I close. I always close late. 8 a.m. in the morning to 8 p.m. Come to Pray Nigus Network Office, 142 Akuanjo Road. Amen. Egbeda Legosti. You get a Bible for them. Uh, Mami, what's the name of uh, Mami Aguda? If you are online, I reserve five copies of Bible for your children. Amen. Every Saturday, the children will always meet to pray together. Her own end, she's in another state, but she always gather children together and they will join. Amen. All the children there. So, Mami Aguda, by the grace of God, anytime I'm coming to visit you, I will come with five copies of Bible. Amen. But if you are not from Mami Aguda and you need a Bible for your children, please come to the office during the week. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Have you been blessed today? Decree and declaration for our children. Thank you, Jesus. Every children in the house, please put your right hand on your head. Put your right hand on your head. Put your right hand on your head. And they say, believe in the Lord Jesus and you'll be saved. And you and your household at 1631. If you believe in God, you'll be saved and your household. Your household talk about your children. Our children shall be saved in the name of Jesus. I say 54 verse 13. I say 54 verse 13. And all our children shall be taught of the Lord. Great shall be the peace of our children. Starting from this moment, I declare, I declare concerning our children. The Lord will teach them. Great shall be their peace in the name of Jesus. Great shall be their peace in the name of Jesus. Great shall be their peace in the name of Jesus. Great shall be their peace in the name of Jesus. Great shall be their peace in the name of Jesus. Okay. You know, I don't even know that Mami Aguda will be online. Mami Aguda, I had three more copies. Hey man, I have I reserved three copies in the house. <laughs> I just saw a message now. So I had three to eat. By the grace of God, very soon I'm coming to greet daddy. So I will come with that eight copies of Bible. Please, my wife, remind me, Mami Aguda. Eight copies of Bible. 
Somebody gave us Bible. But I think over 200 copies last year that we should share it. And he said that two years ago. And I think, is it this year or last year? Send another last year. Send that this year. I can't really remember. Last year. Okay, towards the end of last year, send another copy. We are sharing that one. And I want it to go, the remaining one. I'm sharing it this week. Amen. Praise the Lord. So somebody pay for it. I've never met the man one on one. He just called the Bible Society of Nigeria, gave them my name, and pay for copies of Bible there. Amen. The last one, I think, was over 100 copies. And I will just go there and pick. He said, Pastor, share for people. Amen. That is his own way of ministering to people. You think that God will not remember him? Anyone that takes Bible, read. Anyone that has the copy of that Bible, read and pray. As they are praying for themselves, God is rewarding him. Amen. Psalm 112, verse 1 and 2. Psalm 112, verse 1 and 2. Praise the Lord. Bless the man who fear the Lord, who greatly delight in his commandment. His offspring, his offspring, that means his children will be mighty in the land. His children will be mighty in the land. All our children, they will be mighty in that generation in the name of Jesus. All our children shall be mighty in that generation in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 65, verse 23. Isaiah 65, verse 23. They shall not labor in vain. Our children will not labor in vain in the name of Jesus. Nor bear for our children shall not be for calamity in the name of Jesus. For they have the, they are they shall be the offspring of the blessed of the Lord. The blessings of the Lord shall rest upon all our children in the name of Jesus. I say, all our children, home and abroad, wherever they are, the blessings of the Lord shall rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Shall rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Before I pray, hear this man, hear this sir. Your children can deny, can reject your reproof, your correction. When you correct them, your children can reject it. I reject my parents' offer. I reject my parents' correction. Because my parents were training me and grooming me to be another thing entirely. When God called that I should come into his fire and walk, they did not agree. So I reject it. It was when they now saw and they see, they, when God opened their eyes and they saw the wonders of God, that was when they now surrender. It was an open crusade grant. And I have to minister. And people went to our home, to my father's house, to tell them that we saw your son during the crusade and he will minister to people mightily. And this was what happened. That was when they now said, Ah, if God used our son to minister to people during a time crusade, we release him. <laughs> So your children can reject your correction, can reject your proof, can reject your order. But hear me, sir, hear me, man. They never bond them well to reject your prayer. They cannot reject your prayer. You don't give them. You plant it into their life. So they grow with it. They grow with it. I was sharing with uh, one of my pastors last week. I said, I can see all the night. All the night, not sleeping. Why? Because my mother punished me in those days. You know why I use punish? No children like it. But my mother will wake me up in the night. I said, pray. What do I have to pray? There is food. What is my own business? My mother will just say, just, just be saying, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Oh Lord. Have I done anything wrong? No, he said, it is good to pray. If you have no prayer to pray, just be saying, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Say it 1,000 times before you go back to bed. <laughs> Next time, he will do the same thing. Next time, he will do the same thing. Very early in the morning, by 4 o'clock in the morning, my mother will wake me up to go and pray. Come rain, come shine. So I grow up, I develop that system of midnight wash, of early morning prayer. I can sleep in the daytime, but in the night, my eyes is it's always open. That is why when you send a message, unless I don't want to answer you, I will reply you. In the night, I will reply you. Why? My mother reconfigured my system that way. I cannot reject her prayer. I cannot reject a prayer. So hear me, sir, hear me, man. As you close, your prayer cannot reject your prayer. They cannot reject that cover. So please, let's lift up our hand as parents. All the children, put hand on your head. I join my faith with the faith of Lord, our parents in the house. And we decree, we declare, that concerning our children, the Lord will protect them in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, our children are protected. 
I decree and declare, O oh Lord our God, order the step of our children to right direction in life in the name of Jesus. The step of our children, Lord, order them to right direction in the name of Jesus. I decree, I declare, let the angels of the Lord watch over our children in all their ways, in all their doings in the name of Jesus. I decree, I declare, concerning our wisdom with children, the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God, the understanding of God, let it rest upon them in the name of Jesus. I decree, I declare, let the hand of God so be so mighty upon all our children in the name of Jesus. Their eyes, their spiritual eyes, their spiritual hair, let it be connected to the throne in the name of Jesus. The revelation about their life, let God replay for them in the name of Jesus. The secret of the Lord, let the Lord God reveal it to them in the name of Jesus. I pray, let the Lord God use our children mightily in the generation in the name of Jesus. Every ungodly influence in and around our children, let the Lord God separate them in the name of Jesus. Every ungodly influence upon our children, around our children, let God separate them in the name of Jesus. Let God separate them. 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 Anywhere our children will go, that the mercy of God, that the favor of God will not be available for them. Whatever our children will do, that God will be angry against them before they go there, before they do that. Let the Lord God hinder them in the name of Jesus. Let God hinder them. Let God hinder them. Let God hinder them. I decree, I declare. No weapon fashioned against our children, their health, their marriage, their education, their health, their finance shall ever prosper in the name of Jesus. Every weapon of darkness, form, fashion, fire into the life of our children. Let it by fire in the name of Jesus. Let it by fire. Let it by fire. Every rebellious spirit, every spirit of stubbornness, every spirit of waywardness in the life of our children, we cast it out in the name of Jesus. Every earth issue, demonic earth issue in the life of our children, in the name of Jesus, the hand of God rests upon them for divine healing in the name of Jesus. Let God breathe upon our children. Every power of mistake and error, constant mistake and error over our children, let it break in the name of Jesus. Our children will not die. They will live to declare the glory of God in the name of Jesus. In all their doings, let the Lord God deliver them from work of darkness in the name of Jesus. I decree, I declare, as our children go into this week, our children will prosper in the name of Jesus. Our children will prosper in the name of Jesus. There is this help that is needed in their life. There is this help that our children are asking God for. There is this help that must come the ways of our children. Either they are married or they are in the, they are in the school. I declare, I declare, that as our children go into this week, the help of God, the help of God, the help of God, the help of God, let it locate them in the name of Jesus. Let it locate them. Let it locate them. Let it locate them in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Samuel found favor with God and with men. The Bible says in the book of Luke, chapter 1, says, Jesus Christ obtained favor from God and from men. And the Bible says, concerning Esther, she obtained favor. Every of our children, male or female, in everything that concerns them, the favor of God will speak for them in the name of Jesus. They shall be favor. 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 In the name of Jesus. Anyone that is not happy with you as a parent, anyone that is not happy with your marriage, anyone that is angry with you as a father, anyone that is angry with you as a mother, and want to retaliate through your children. They want to punish you through your children. They want to afflict you through your children. I ask, let the Lord God arise and fight for you. Fight for your children in the name of Jesus. Any arrows of wickedness, any arrows of the enemy, fashion fire into the life of our children. It will not prosper in the name of Jesus. As our children go into this week, they will receive help. They will obtain help. They will receive help. They will obtain help. They will receive help. They will obtain help. I join my faith again with all the parents in the house that concerning our children, they shall be great in the name of Jesus. In all their ways, they shall be great in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. I pray for every one of you whom God is using to support and partner with this ministry in order for us to always come online. 
just like that man that I talk about that gave us Bible so that all the children or people around us will have access to Bible. I pray for every one of you whom God is choosing to partner with us to support us. This week, the help of God will single you out in the name of Jesus. This week, the help of God will single you out in the name of Jesus. You, that person, in the name of Jesus, as the Lord God has said it, failure and disappointment at the end of breakthrough come to an end in the name of Jesus. Every birth in your life is the first in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. Happy Sunday. God bless you all. Jesus' name. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend, you and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.